Hi, this is Kate from the Shadow Chasers. Today what I'm going to be showing you is the ghost meter. The ghost meter written on it. Um, this is a modified cell sensor. Um, a cell sensor is something that is used to um, measure EMF and RF frequencies to detect cell phones. Um, this has been modified to only measure within the commonly accepted ghost frequencies, which is 40 to 60 hertz. Um, it's pretty simple to use. You push this button, turns it on. Um, it has a scale. It pretty much goes from 1 to 5, or 0 to 5 milligauss. You push the button and see it turns on. Um, it also lights up, and once it gets into the red range, the lights go off. Um, we've had some problems with this. It's not exactly um, the most reliable meter. We really haven't had a lot of luck in detecting things with it. Um, and we've had some successes. But overall, it's it's really not as um, reliable. I think we've had three investigations where it's worked. So I mean, it hasn't really been totally reliable. Um, there's been, there's some problems also with the scale. As you can see, zero to one, and one to two are very wide intervals, and then two to five is very narrow um, and it just it isn't as sensitive as it should be it doesn't go off all that well um, I have to say though that the plus side is the fact that it lights up so if you're in a dark area you don't have a cell phone or not a cell phone you don't have a flashlight flashlights aren't an option I mean it's definitely easy to have it switch from an EMF meter to an EMF detector meaning it just detects it doesn't measure um, but the disadvantages of the meter tend to outweigh the potential advantages. Um, the other downside is it's very um, cheap feeling. It's very cheap looking. I mean, it definitely doesn't look professional. It's blue and orange. I mean, you know, awesome if you're a Syracuse fan, but um, not for paranormal investigating. Um, it runs about $50, so I mean it's pretty reasonably priced for a meter. It's just that for this price that you're paying for this, you can probably get a couple other meters for around the same interval that work 10 times better. You know, I mean a Gauss meter is half the price of this, so you can get two Gauss meters, Gauss meter here, for the price of this. And these are infinitely more reliable. Um, so that's pretty much my review of the ghost meter. Thank you.